starting in 5 seconds the history of the development of our railways is in short the history of our national development over the decades the railways had undergone many changes and had to pass through many vicissitudes before they could attain their present strength and size prior to independence the foreign rulers used the railways primarily as an instrument for colonial expansion the growth of the railways during that period was unplanned and haphazard and had little relation to the requirements of the country and its people the policy of the railways then lacked national perspective it was only after independence that we witnessed a sea change both in the expansion and operation of the indian railways they have contributed in a large measure not only to forge links between different regions but to quicken the pace of national development and social cohesion the railways today have acquired expertise and technological skill in all fields of construction and operation it is a novel feature that the indian railways have a research and design wing which carries in investigations into the various technical aspects of the railway operations steam engines diesel engines coaches wagons signaling and a host of other accessories and store are now manufactured in the country today the railways have a unique place in our national life they are not only carriers of passengers and goods but also promoters of national unity and economic progress it is heartening to know that the india made railway equipment is in use in the railways in many developing and developed countries this bears ample testimony to the technical advancement and expertise achieved by the indian railways i am glad that after the new government has come into existence a new deal for the well-being of the workers has been launched for the efficient and successful functioning of any public undertaking good and harmonious relationship between the management and the workers is necessary while we are making rapid strides in scientific knowledge and technical skill we should not fall behind in the understanding and appreciation of human values and problems in dealing with human problems we should have a broad vision and a deep insight into the national interest we must make the workers realize that they too 
are contributing to the development of the country by their hard honest and efficient work i am glad that the workers participation in the management is being encouraged largely accidents and occupational disease are the most appealing of the tragedies of the modern industry and mining with rapid industrialization the hazards to human health and safety have been increasing one can sustain economic development and better distribution only by ensuring greater safety and better health in all industries and occupations i note with satisfaction that the government has been aware of all these obligations and has been taking steps from time to time the factories amendment act 1976 has spelt a number of measures to step up the safety standards on the shop floor i am also given to understand that a beginning has been made to impart intensive training for the safety officers to be appointed by large undertakings recently a labor laboratory was set up at the central labor institute in bombay and it is the best of its kind in the country meant to study the capacities of men and attempt to design machinery equipment and the working conditions in such a way that there will be a proper man machine alignment when i see the number of award winners i feel happy that we have not been overwhelmed and made to feel helpless by the increasing challenges of modern industry and mining i would like to remind you that in such endeavors we can achieve tangible results only through a participative approach i am glad to note from the number of national safety and sharamveer national awards presented today that such a participative and cooperative spirit is already prevailing may i congratulate the workers who have made useful suggestions which i am sure will help in boosting safety and productivity in industry the industrial organizations who have provided a philip to these employees also deserve our congratulations i would only appeal that we should increase such cooperative endeavor since we have still a long way to go considering the new processes being adopted and the new machinery being handled and the associated hazards there is necessity for suitable device and training to be given to the concerned workers after all for most of the industrial processes and machinery there are well defined safeguards and safe procedures all that is needed is that one should be aware of these and also scrupulously 
adopted them in this context i would suggest that every effort should be made to educate the workers and get them involved we hear that some of the public sector undertaking are adopting a safety stewardship scheme which fulfills the above objective effectively and consequently has improved the safety records i would strongly commend such a scheme to be tried by all managements in our industries stop